Hey, good evening, Way Church family and friends. It's Pastor Josh coming to you this third night in our week of prayer, praying specifically for breakthrough in 2022. So good to be with you this evening. While you're finding the broadcast, go ahead, do me a favor. You can like it, begin to comment, let me know that you're there, say amen or something, <laughs> and then do me a favor as well, share it so that others are being able to find it and join in and jump with us, jump in with us as well. So grateful for those of you who are pressing in together with me, taking time to pray, taking time to fast, taking time to spend that moment before the Lord. This first full week, we are dedicating uh, to the Lord and believing God for a breakthrough in 2022. How many know that is the word of the Lord for our church specifically and for your life as well? Grab hold of that. Grab hold of the word of the Lord for your life. Breakthrough in 2022. And then ask the Lord for his direction, his instruction. And then run with that. Go ahead and then do what the Lord is telling you to do. And then you're going to see results. Praise God. That's what we're believing God for. And my pastor, he had told us that this is going to be the year of double. So we're believing for double breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Amen. That's on every side, to the right and to the left. Not just a little bit, but it's going to be big in the name of Jesus. Amen. So that's what we are taking time as we are leading up to our Breakthrough Revival services this weekend, we're taking time to pray, we're taking time to fast, and press in together, believe in God for the breakthrough in our lives. Amen. So, I want to encourage you with this tonight as we go to the scriptures. Uh, found in 2 uh, Samuel chapter 5 and verse 20. I'm going to grab my other <coughs> Bible real quick there. 2 Samuel chapter 5. Verse 20, and I want to encourage you from this. This is our theme verse, the one that we are uh, laying hold of for this year. It says this, So David went to baal Perazim and defeated the Philistines there. And he said, The Lord did it. Come on. That's what you're going to look at as you go through 2022. And you're going to say, Look what the Lord has done. He's broken through for me says that the Lord did it, David exclaimed. He burst through or he broke through my enemies. We've said that those enemies are barriers, limitations, things that would try to hold us back and to keep us from experiencing the breakthrough that God has for us. Amen. It says that the Lord, he burst through my enemies like a raging flood. So once again, it's not just a, a little bit, not just a little crack or a crevice where ah, we could say, well, maybe that was God, maybe that was not. No, you're going to look at it, you're going to look back and you're going to see and you're going to exclaim just like David did and say, look what the Lord has done. He has burst through, he has broken through like a flood. Oh, amen. Praise God. The year of the breakthrough. 2022. Amen. Then it says this, so he named that place Baal Pirzim, which means the Lord who bursts through or the God of the breakthrough. I want you to be encouraged this evening and this week as we're spending time in prayer as leading up to our breakthrough revival services this weekend, that the God of the breakthrough is going to visit your house. Hallelujah. The God of the breakthrough is going to visit your house. Can I have an amen? Come on, somebody, go ahead. Say amen in the comments there. <laughs> Praise God. Come on, this is, is exciting just to see what God is going to be doing in your life. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you with that. What does breakthrough mean to you? I've been asking you to be specific. Be specific in your prayer. Be specific in what you're asking God to break through in your life. Emily and I, we've been talking about that, what we're believing God for in this year, and that we're believing for him to break through in our lives, hallelujah, and in our church's life, hallelujah. We're going for double, double breakthrough, just like our pastor had spoken uh, to us. It's the year of the double, so that's what we're believing God for. We're going to break through into double this year, hallelujah. So double harvest, 
double the number of souls coming into the kingdom of God. Double the church attendance. Hallelujah. Double in the finances. Praise God. Come on. That's what we're breaking through into. Double spiritual growth. Like our church is going to go up to the next level. Amen. Praise God. That's what we're believing God for. Those, those are things that we are pressing into together in believing God for this year. So I want you to be specific in your, your breakthrough means for you. So write it down. Write it down what you're believing God for this year to break through in your life. Don't just, you know, shout, oh, the breakthrough in 2022. But I want you to target your faith specifically for how God is going to break through in your life. What are you believing God for in this year? Amen. And then press in. Take this time as we're dedicating this first full week uh, of, to prayer and to fasting that God would show you that area in your life. Realize that what we're doing right now, this time of prayer, this time of fasting, the Breakthrough Revival Services this weekend, all of that is preparation time. And that preparation time is never wasted time. What this is doing is it is attacking spiritual laziness or spiritual sleepiness in your life. That's what you're doing by spending time committing to prayer, committing to fasting, getting into church for revival services. You are attacking spiritual laziness or sleepiness in your life. You're saying, you know what, Lord, I'm going after it. I'm going all in. I'm not holding back. I'm pressing in like never before. And right now I am putting seed in the ground for the harvest that I desire this year. Amen. Praise God. That's right, Maria. Amen. So what you're doing, you're committing that time. You're pressing in. You're putting in that faithfulness that you're, what you're doing right now is your prayers are seeds in the ground for a harvest this year. Hallelujah. As you're praying for your family, as you're praying for your health, as you're praying for finances, whatever it may be, that is seed in the ground. And what I want to encourage you with is that fasting is a responsibility of us as new covenant believers in Christ. It's a part of our relationship with the Lord. And like I said a moment ago, is it attacks spiritual laziness by actually uh, helping you to get your spirit back into control in your life. Because there are so many different things that come at our flesh, at our minds, that try to dominate our lives and to clog our ability, our ability to hear God clearly. So when you pray, when you fast, what that does is it helps remove those distractions, helps remove those things that would inhibit you from being able to hear God clearly, and it puts your spirit man back in control. Praise God. Amen. So I want to encourage you, give God this first full week of January. Give him your prayer. Give them your fasting, whatever it is that you are committing to the Lord that way. And I want you to realize that it will pay big dividends. Come on, write that down. Put that in the comments tonight. Write, it will pay big dividends. What you're doing right now will affect your future, will affect the rest of this year, the outcome. Hallelujah. This is your time to intercede for this year. Glory to God. This is your time to fast, to get the mind of the Lord in his direction for your life this year. Praise God. And it's putting seed into the ground, <clears throat> and it's going to give God something to multiply. Hallelujah. That's why we so big. Yes, that's right. It will pay big dividends. That's right, Maria. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. And this is the time to sow seed, to put seed in the ground to get it in, hallelujah, so that you can have a harvest this year. Praise God. So in a moment, what we're going to do is we're going to pray together, and I want you to join your heart, your faith with me as we pray. We spend some time praying. I'm going to uh, pray with you. I'm asking you to pray with me. I'll lead you. Let it be a launching pad then for you so that you can take that time and that you can continue to pray this out then throughout the rest of this evening or uh, later on as well. And what I'm encouraging us during these times of prayer 
is that in order for you to experience the breakthrough that God has for you, there are some things in your life that you're going to have to let go of. There are certain things that the enemy will try to get you to hang on to that will prevent you from being able to receive then the breakthrough that God has for you. The very first thing that we dealt with was comparison. So many people are caught in a comparison trap looking at others and then allowing envy to enter into their hearts instead of being content with what the Lord has called them, given them, ministered to them for. So we dealt with that. Secondly, last night what we talked about uh, was this was worrying about things that only God can control. And we had said this, that worry is negative meditation. You want to get rid of all worry in your life because what that does is it feeds fear and stress. And you don't need fear in your life. You need faith. Can I have an amen? Your faith is important and your faith is what pleases God. That's why the enemy, he tries to get you so worried or concerned about things. Guess what? There are plenty of things that are happening or will happen that will try to get your worries up. But we want our faith to be built. We want our faith to rise. Hallelujah. And that's why we must cast all of those worries, all of those cares, all of those anxieties over unto the Lord so then that we can receive his care. Glory to God. Thank God that he cares for you. Amen. Thank God that he cares for those that matter to you. Praise God. He is a faithful God and he will see you through in Jesus name. Amen. So tonight what we're going to talk about and deal with as we go to uh, prayer this evening is one of the biggest barriers to breakthrough in your life. This one right here is the biggest barrier to breakthrough in your life. And I want us to address it, to attack it with our prayers and our faith so that we can get that out of the way so that we can receive freely from the Lord. This is one of the biggest areas that the devil keeps people back and being unable to receive from God hindering their prayers and being able to have answers to their prayers, and it's this, unforgiveness, unforgiveness. I want you to say this out loud and write this down. I will not be kept back by unforgiveness. I will not be kept back by unforgiveness. And I want you to realize that forgiving someone or forgiving something and even forgiving yourself is a choice. It's a choice. It's not a feeling. The feeling, realize this, will follow your action or your choice to forgive. And one of the very first things, the very first act of forgiveness, and you don't even have to do this in the presence of someone, but is actually saying out loud, I forgive, and then you can place whoever or whatever it may be in that blank. Realize that when you're holding on to unforgiveness, what that is, it's like drinking poison and expecting it to harm somebody else, the one that you are holding on to that unforgiveness. Meanwhile, what it's actually doing to you is poisoning and killing you from the inside out. That's why you must deal with it right away. As hard as what it may be, as difficult as it may be, as uh, wounding as however that circumstance may have been in your life, choose now to forgive. Hallelujah. Come on, put that in the comments tonight. I choose to forgive. I choose to forgive. It's one of the most freeing things that you can do is choose to forgive. The Bible tells us in Colossians chapter 3, verse 13, it says this, forbearing one another, or actually being tolerant of one another and forgiving one another. So here are the instruction, forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as, look at that, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. So just like Jesus has forgiven you and has forgiven me, you and I should be those that will forgive others. Hallelujah. That's right, Maria. It's not going to be you. Hallelujah. You're not going to be kept back. Amen. Praise God. We agree together. Hallelujah. 
Come on, you will not be kept back because of unforgiveness in your life. Choose now, right now. Choose to forgive. I know that we've all, every single person, if you sit down and you talk to them, they have gone through some difficult situations in their life. And I want to encourage you, don't let those moments keep you from having the breakthrough that God desires to have for you. So many people are identified by either accidents, circumstances, situations in their life, things that didn't go their way, a bad break, however it may be, a breakup, a divorce, no, some, somebody left you, bankruptcy, different things. People choose to identify with those things and they allow those things then to be limitations or barriers. And tonight, it's being broken off of you in Jesus' name. You will not be identified by those things any longer and you're going to walk in the love and the forgiveness that God has for you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. We're going to get ready to pray in just a moment. But before we do, I want to encourage you with one other scripture, all right? And as we're praying, I'm encouraging you, be specific. You be specific about the breakthrough that God has for you. Hallelujah. Amen. So Isaiah chapter 54, verses 2 and 3 says this, Enlarge the place of thy tent, hallelujah, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitations. Spare not, lengthen thy cords, and strengthen thy stakes. So the Lord is telling us to go ahead and make provision for his breakthrough in your life. Go ahead, write that in the comments tonight. I am making provision for God's breakthrough in my life. Oh, amen, Cheryl. Praise God. I want you to write that down. Put that in the comments tonight. It's going to help you. I am making provision for God's breakthrough in my life. So I'm going to make room for the breakthrough that God has for me. I'm going to let go right now of the things that the enemy would try to get me to hang on to in my life that would prevent me from receiving the breakthrough that God has for me. Amen. So write this down. I am making provision for God's breakthrough in my life. I'm not going to allow the enemy to have any barriers or limitations and keep me from receiving what God has for me this year in 2022. Amen. Praise God. You breakthrough in 2022. Hallelujah. So it says, enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitations. Spare not. So don't hold back. Hallelujah. This is not the time to hold back any longer. I've been encouraging you this week. Come on, this is a week to press in like never before. This is a week to go all in for the Lord and say, God, I am showing you my faith. I am demonstrating it to you by spending time in prayer, by fasting, and by getting into those revival services because I desire the breakthrough that God has for me. Oh, amen. Praise God. That's right, Cheryl. You're making provision for God's breakthrough in your life. Hallelujah. And it's going to be powerful. For thou shalt break forth. The word of the Lord is this. We shall break forth on the right hand and on the left. Come on. That's double breakthrough right there in Jesus' name. Amen. Put that in the comments tonight. Double breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Double breakthrough. So you shall break forth on the right hand and on the left and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities inhabited. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's right, Raj. Amen. Come on, making provision for a breakthrough in your life. That abundant supply. Glory to God. Praise God. We come into agreement with you. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to pray. I want you to stick with me. I want you to pray with me. Join your heart with mine. We're going to pray in English as well as we'll probably jump into the spirit as well. And while I'm praying, I'm wanting you to be praying with me. So I'm encouraging you. Oh, praise God, Maria. That's right. You're making provision for what God has for you. Hallelujah. That's right, Cheryl. Double breakthrough in the name of Jesus. So let's now pray together. Join your heart and your faith with mine. And let's uh, go after it in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you that your word to us 
is breakthrough in 2022. Glory to God. And so, Lord, we're going for double breakthrough in Jesus' name on every side. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, that we're going to break forth on the right hand and break forth on the left. Lord, I thank you that right now what we are doing by our prayers is that we are making provision for your breakthrough in our lives in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, Lord, we choose right now to let go of anything that would hold us back, that would be a barrier for us to be able to break through in Jesus' name. So, Lord, we address right now any issues of unforgiveness in our lives. Hallelujah. Yes, I see that, Maria. You can pray in Spanish. Hallelujah. So we address any unforgiveness in our lives in the name of Jesus. And God, what we do is we realize that we don't have to wait for feelings to come. But Heavenly Father, we choose right now to forgive. We choose to forgive those that have harmed us, those that have hurt us, Lord, those that may have left us or abandoned us. God, we choose to forgive right now those that have spoken ill about us or to us. Lord, those things that have unjustly happened in our lives. Heavenly Father, we choose to forgive right now in Jesus' name. Go ahead, say it out loud. I forgive, and you can fill in the blank, whoever it may be or whatever it may be. I want you to do that right now. Say it out loud so that you can hear it as well as your Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we choose to forgive right now in the name of Jesus. We choose to forgive that one that had hurt us. Hallelujah. Lord, we release them now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that you are freeing us from that unforgiveness. And Lord, that our hearts are being opened to you right now in Jesus' name. We release it now in Jesus' name. We release it now in Jesus' name. God, we choose to hold on no longer. Hallelujah. The thing that didn't go our way the ones that kept us uh, from advancing, the one that has taken that which we thought belonged to us. God, we choose to forgive now. We choose to release it now in the name of Jesus. God, we let it go now, hallelujah, so that we can receive your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's right. Come on, that's right. Amen, Cheryl. We come into agreement with you right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for freedom now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we don't hold a grudge against anyone, but Lord, we choose to walk in love. We choose to forgive freely just as Jesus Christ has forgiven us of all things. Hallelujah. Lord, when we've made the mistake, when we've fallen short, when we've sinned against you, Lord, I thank you that you have forgiven us. And so, Lord, we recognize that right now. And we choose to forgive just like Jesus forgave us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for your freedom now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord, right now we're making provision for your breakthrough in our lives. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Heavenly Father, we press in for each other right now. And Lord, I thank you for a breakthrough in health and that it would manifest in people's physical bodies now in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Lord, I thank you for that breakthrough this year in health. Lord, that this year we shall be the healthiest that we have ever been in the name of Jesus. I thank you that sickness and disease is broken off of us, that you have redeemed us from the curse of the law. Lord, that you've removed sickness and disease pain from our bodies in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So Lord, I thank you for a quickening in our physical bodies now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, for your breakthrough 
in finances in the name of Jesus. Lord, double breakthrough. Hallelujah. Lord, double provision in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Lord, those things that have been taken from us, God, I thank you for double restoration, that being brought back in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Lord, even right now, as we're praying, I sense, Lord, that you are giving divine insight and strategies. Lord, whether it be with investments or moves in jobs or companies, Lord God, Lord, or, or that thing that you would have us to develop or that company or business to start, hallelujah, Lord, that you would breathe upon it, hallelujah. I thank you for that. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we receive that in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Supernatural favor in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord, relationships. Lord, I thank you for the loved ones that need a breakthrough in Jesus' name. We call their names before you now, that son or that daughter, that loved one. Hallelujah. Lord, that they would come into the kingdom of God this year in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Breakthrough in our families. Hallelujah. Lord, breakthrough in our marriages and relationships in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for it. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord, the one that struggled with their spouse, being able to walk in love and forgiveness, Lord, to them. Lord, I thank you that you're breaking them free, free tonight in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Bringing back a restoration. Hallelujah. Lord, may that marriage relationship be the best that it's ever been this year in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Lord, we thank you for it now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we see that. We see Cheryl's request there desperately need healing from rheumatoid arthritis and all the pain that it causes. Cheryl, I thank God that that has been taken care of at the cross over 2,000 years ago and that this year you shall see breakthrough in your body in the name of Jesus. Cheryl, what I want you to do right now, and those of us that are still praying, we're going to come into agreement for Cheryl. I want you to place your hands upon each other in any area where you have experienced arthritis in your body. The Bible tells us that believers shall lay hands upon the sick and they shall recover. And what I want you to do is to do that. I'm going to pray. And what you're going to do is you're going to just lay your hands upon either your hands, because I know sometimes that can affect your hands and other joints in your body. And we're going to come into a agreement the rest of us are going to surround you with faith and love, and we're going to cast that arthritis out of your body tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's do that. Heavenly Father, right now, we lay our hands upon the sick. God, we rebuke rheumatoid arthritis in Cheryl's body now in Jesus' name. We command it to be broken off of her. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you that even as she begins to move, Lord, that pain leaves her body now in Jesus' name. Lord, we release the healing power of God from the top of her head all the way through those joints, every single joint, the inflammation, the pain is being driven out now by the healing anointing of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. All the way through. Glory to God. Lord, I thank you that as she just begins to flex and to move, Lord, that that pain is being broken off now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you that you have, your stripes have provided her healing in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Breakthrough in her body now, in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for it. We thank you for it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for it. Praise God. Go ahead and say amen in the comments tonight and be encouraged that you're the God of the breakthrough shall visit your house this year in 2022. And you're going to look back and you're going to say, the Lord did it just like David exclaimed, hallelujah. 
Well, praise God. Well, I thank you so much for joining me this evening for night number three of our week of prayer. Come on, we are praying all the way up to our breakthrough revival services on Saturday, 6.30 p.m., Sunday morning, 10.30 a.m., and then Sunday night again, 6.30 p.m. I'm encouraging you, if you're in our area, be in attendance for those services. Cheryl, I know that you're out of state, but what we're going to be broadcasting the services, so I want you to jump on those services and be watching with us, all right? Comment in the comments. Let us know that you're there. Praise God and be watching. I'm encouraging you to stick with me this week. Let's break through together this uh, week and see what God has for us. Hallelujah. We call you blessed this evening, and I'll see you again tomorrow night. God bless you all. Praise God.